If DNA wasn't even discovered for police work until 1984, then how are 40 and 50 year old cases getting solved with it today? Back in the 60s and 70s, detectives didn't know DNA would one day be the gold standard, but they still collected and saved everything. Cigarette butts, hairs, clothing, even envelopes. Why? Because those items had value for the science of the time. Fingerprints, blood typing, serology, fibers. A cigarette butt could show a suspect's blood group. A hair could be studied under a microscope. These methods couldn't pinpoint one person, but they could rule out groups and narrow suspects down. That's why evidence was carefully preserved. Then in 1984, in a huge breakthrough, British scientist Alec Jeffries discovered that DNA could be read like a fingerprint, unique to each individual. Two years later, police used this new science to free an innocent man and convict Colin Pitchfork, a bakery worker who had raped and murdered two teenage girls. When police took samples of the entire community, Pitchfork even tried to dodge the test by sending in a co-worker's DNA sample. Detectives caught the trick, and in 1988, he became the first killer in history convicted by DNA. By 1987, Florida secured the first American conviction with DNA. Through the 1990s, as labs improved, courts began to trust DNA the same way they trusted fingerprints. And in 1990, the FBI launched CODIS, a national DNA database that changed investigations forever. And today, there's another leap forward, forensic genealogy, Investigators can build family trees from DNA matches to distant relatives and follow those branches back to a single suspect. It's why cases once thought unsolvable are now being cracked open. So when people see an old case getting solved by DNA and think, but it didn't exist in 1979, so how is that possible? The answer is simple. DNA has always existed and items were collected and saved for use in other testing methods of the time, like blood typing, fibers, and fingerprints. That same evidence just happened to preserve DNA. And now genealogy helps trace it all the way back to the killer. Check this channel out for bite-sized but in-depth documentaries on cold cases solved with DNA.